UFO news. There have been unexplained sightings of flying objects in the sky for decades. The Pentagon recently formed a new office to study UFO reports, and now, now it's NASA's turn. We have an unidentified flying object. We're, we're at a disadvantage here in studying this subject because we are dealing with a structure of secrecy that has a lot of the cards. The stuff that NASA has released or talked about, astronauts have seen stuff following the space station or capsules or whatever. I think they're observing us. So you saw it. You took pictures of it. The government didn't want that out. So they went to you and said, try to convince you, number one, that what you saw was not experimental research aircraft or an RD craft, but in fact was a UFO, an extraterrestrial craft. And we want to we want to investigate this. I don't believe I don't believe that Edgar did. I sat down in his home, and I was dying to know what he did. I was begging with him, and he said, "No, as far as I know, none of my friends have had encounters in space." And I said, "What about James McDivitt?" He goes, "Well, actually, yeah, there." And Gordon Cooper said, "There's rumors circulating about me seeing UFOs in space, but I didn't." He goes, "I did see a UFO when I was piloting a jet in Germany." and tried to chase it, and we did have a UFO that landed at Edwards Air Force Base, which I saw the film footage of. He didn't film it. One of these DSP satellites tracked uh, its sensors, read an object that came to it within a uh, three kilometer distance in space. That's, that's reach out and touch someone distance. Now, obviously, I, you know, I get asked, you really think there are aliens out there? Well, yes, otherwise I wouldn't keep this job, right? I mean, but yes, of course I do, because otherwise, if that's not true, then there's something very special about Earth and the people on it and all the other uh, flora and fauna on it, right? And if you say that there's something really, really special about Earth in order to support your hypothesis that we're the only clever things around. You know, if you say something is a miracle, you're probably not doing science. So this Tehran pilot that almost crashed his F-4 back in the 70s in Tehran, that was an incident. Their government should care about it. This is unprecedented stuff. Nothing like it even remotely has happened is requiring that all of the entities that could have intersected with this issue, right, which is basically all the entities in the cross-agency committee, I do have many uh, recordings of sightings and manifestations taking place in the sky. If there are code words, then I think it's pretty clear the astronauts would have to know them before they go up into orbit. And then if they use them, fine, if they see something. 